We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight we get you set for Cactus League action between the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. Arizona Diamondbacks. Warren Miller, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And let's take a look at Brian Anderson. This guy, when I see him out there on the field, I think of one thing. He's a ball player. Offers versatility for his manager. Outfield, little third base. He was fighting for the 2018 Rookie Let's of the Year. Three. He's out. Striding into the box, Kermit Yellow Horse. He'll lead things off go. here in the Four bottom the half of the back. first. The first baseman, Kermit Yellow Horse. First pitch of the at-bat. Swung right. on and missed. It's 0-1. The wind-up and the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Yellow Horse stands at six foot four inches tall, bats left, throws right. He was selected in the 23rd round during the first year player draft of 2018. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this round guy it, has gotten it, a lot ball. of people some big raises in the organization. Oh. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars. Coming to the plate now, Kermit the Yellow Horse, four. 0 for 1 here in the Kermit. early going. Yellow Horse. He's ready, here's the first offering. Lifted into center field. Naquin is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. What's the play ball? He's out. So striding in, Kermit Yellow the Horse. He flew out four. in his last at bat. Kermit. Almost, Matty. Yellow almost horse. went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on Zero. something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Throw into second. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they the can get on. Got to take That's it one stop. good at bat Look at a time. Me. Yellow Where horse, the runner at second with one away. All right, you're up. You're Into up. Into right field, that's a base hit. 
And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way Albert. the game's played. The center fielder. Albert. Into the box now, Albert Elmora, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. A bullet to first base. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. So it's no runs on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rangers one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. Texas claimed the victory despite being held to only three hits. Erasmo Ramirez takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. Colorado Rockies. Arthur McCann is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. So here's how the Colorado Rockies are positioned defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Trevor's story. We get it. Big time power, but also adequate on the defensive side. Taken over after Troy Tulowitzki left. Couldn't be easy. And Trevor's story did a heck of a job. In now, Kermit Yellowhorse. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Arizona. The first baseman. 
Kermit. Yellow horn. First offering on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Sandoval ranging up the middle. Throw on to first in time, one away. Three. 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 Settling in now, Kermit, Yellow Horse, the runner in scoring position four. with Sugan. Kermit, Yellow Horse. Here's the first pitch to him. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Ready with the 0 and 1. Left side, but well foul. Oh, and two. Here it is. Foul, that ball foul. Hit down the third baseline. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. So frustrating, Dero. You make a good pitch, and you get these guys that can run around, and they're fast. You think you have an out, and all of a sudden, it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles, and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Digging in, Mackenzie now Waring. Batting. 0 for 1 the for him stop. here in this one. Mackenzie. Where is and he'll snap one over to first and he'll get back in safely runners on first and third two away and he misses with it for ball four so the bases will be loaded now with two away that's a big no-no he obviously had to work carefully with two men on but he did not want to walk him to load the bases now he's really got his work cut out for him we'll see how he fares here ready now for the Diamondbacks Albert Almora 0 for 1 here in the early going Albert Almora Here's the one two. You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. The right side. Sandoval is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Diamondbacks leave them loaded. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Digging in, Arthur McCann, Batting as he'll up. get his first opportunity in this one. Arthur. Bottom McCann. of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Hit one, one, one. On down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Play ball. He's out. Turns over now and set to go. Kermit, yellow horse. Kermit, yellow horse. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. One left for Arizona. It remains 1-0.
Stepping in and ready for another shot. The Kermit Yellow Horse. We'll see if he can come through Kermit. in a clutch spot here. Yellow two on, horse. two out here in inning number six. <laughs> First pitch on its way. Hit high and deep to left field. Robinette racing back. Still ranging back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three-run blast is straight away left as it's now a six-run ball game. And you can see why they love this guy. He's a leadoff guy with some serious pop. And he pounces on this mistake and knocked it right out of here. Play ball. He's out. Three. Out. Got him. Out. Ball four. Take the ball. He's out. The discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that big sixth inning when they put everything together. They really broke out there and just brought it home after that. Eight to one is the final score this afternoon. The D-backs wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Shelby Miller is the winning pitcher of record. Tyler Anderson allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, a spring training matchup between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. Arizona Diamondbacks. Lance McCullers, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. I and mean, he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one. He threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings that stuff back in this one, it could be back-to-back -back powerhouse performances. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And let's take a look at Brian Anderson. This guy, when I see him out there on the field, I think of one thing. He's a ball player. Offers versatility for his manager. Out. Three. 
He's out. Coming to the plate now, Micah that Welch. He'll get to take right his field. first cuts here. Micah Lusk Welch. stands at first with one out. Could get two. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back to Arizona and spring training baseball after this. Now at the plate, Kermit Yellow Horse. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. For the Diamondback, the first baseman, Kermit Yellow Horse. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Line drive to center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Kermit's yellow horse. Now oh for one here in the, the early first going. Baseman, Kermit, yellow horse. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right here, right here. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away which I don't think is the best pitch anyway you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner with this one it started out on the corner so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked standing in now with runners in scoring position oh, Mackenzie Waring That's and he could give his guys an McKenzie. early lead if he can come through here Waring. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Four sound anywhere now. The center field. Digging in, Number Albert five. Almora. He comes in 0 for Albert. 1 on the day thus far Albert after reaching off. on an error his first time up. Back on, up the side. middle. Down, Sardinius is there. Huh? And a glove flip for get one. Down. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Three innings in the books. Still no score on the show. So runners at the corners with two gone. Oh, and that'll bring up Allen Hansen. The second baseman, Allen Hansen. The 0-2. One, 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 one. For a base hit here as he gets this one down. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Your attention, please. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Kermit Yellow back. Horse. He'll try to follow the up the double in his last Kermit. at bat with another big Yellow hit right horse. here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. Line towards center field. 
A dive, but it's off his glove. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Stepping up to the plate, Mackenzie Waring. Mackenzie Waring. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Welch is under it. He makes the play. Right, Runner right tags here, right here, and hits right for third. The relay, and he is in there. And now here's the versatile outfielder, That's Albert field. Almora Jr. Oh, for two for him to Albert. this point. Almora. Now the one and one pitch. Grounded weakly toward third. Jones has it cleanly. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Play ball. Three. Three. Perfect. Digging in to try it again, Luis Sardinius, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One first baseline, Yellow Horse has it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. D-backs lead it 2-1. to one. moments of drama and excitement in the end these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon the Arizona Diamondbacks wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Luis Navarre pitches well enough to get the W so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. 
Arizona Diamondbacks. Andy Nava is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. What do we need to know here, Danny? Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And over at first base in this one today is the guy that can pick it with the best of them. And I can't overstate that enough. As a former middle infielder, when you could close your eyes and throw it over to first base, knowing it was getting picked out of the grass or picked out of the dirt, man, what a comfortable... At the plate, Kermit Yellow Horse, as he'll get his first the opportunity first in this one. Kermit Yellow Horse. He's set and the pitch. Right side, hit hard. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. So coming to the plate, Felipe Crocker. He'll get to take his the first cuts baseman. here. Felipe Crocker. And prior to the 0-2, a we'll move to first. A dive, but he's back. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Soft liner to the right side, but this is speared by the first baseman. Stepping up now, Adolfo Castro, Bang and their runners at the corners the now. Adolfo Castro. The 1-1. This one's down to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I'd bet he'd like to have that one over. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Andy Nava, as he'll the look pitcher. to bring home that tying run Andy. from second with a base Nova. hit into the outfield. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll dive back in. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. So striding forward now, now Sergio Crespo, who's all over the place, Sergio. two on, two out, and of Crespo. course, here in inning number two. Ready on 0-2. Heading out towards shallow hard, right. Hayward has scoring, a read on it. Scoring, no scoring. trouble with this one, and the inning is over. A run on a couple of hits here for Arizona. We played two full. It's the Cubs two and the D-backs one. Coming to the plate now, Kermit Yellow Horse, and he could give his the guys an baseman. early lead if he can Kermit. come through here. Yellow Horse. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Hap. He's got it, and there are two down now. Play ball. Three. Three. 
Pull four. Take the break. Three. That's four. Yeah. First base. Defense. Three. Up next for Arizona, Kermit Yellow Horse. Leader. He well, flew out in his last at bat. The almost, Matty, almost went Kermit. deep his last AB. Yellow certainly horse. just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive run it, it out, out of the yard this AB. Castro is up with it. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Play ball. Guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. The Diamondbacks took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Andy Nava earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, a spring training matchup between the Chicago White Sox and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. Arizona Diamondbacks. Luis Navarre will be the one towing the rubber for the Diamondbacks. Dan, please, Zach, what do you got? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And over at first base in this one today is the guy that can pick it with the best of them. And I can't overstate that enough. As a former middle infielder... So digging in now, Kermit Yellow Horse, as he'll get his the first, first opportunity in this one. Kermit Yellow Horse. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike one to start the at-bat. 
Bottom of the second here with no score. Belted high and deep into right center. Cheney ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Three. 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 Ball four. Take the Three. Ball four. Take the break. Yeah. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball Victor game. Caratini. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate. Three! Three! Out! Three! Ball four, take the middle. Out! Digging in for his second at bat, Kermit Yellow Horse. Kermit he flew out in his last at bat. Baseman, Kermit Yellow Horse. First pitch coming, here it is. 0-1 the count. Now the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that is off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. So up until this point, they've had to bite and scratch for every single thing. But he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. So stepping in, Felipe Crocker as he'll look to bring home that tying run from Felipe. second with a base hit into the outfield. Walker. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Stepping into the box, Adolfo Castro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Castro. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Slowly right here, easy, to easy. first. I don't right, think they can out, get two. To second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now. But there's two outs. Now batting. Right fielder. No more. Mazzara. And this is hit on the ground a second for Moncada. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. One left for the Diamondbacks. They still trail one nothing. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher now for the White Sox, the Carson pitcher. Fulmer. Carson Fulmer. The 0 1 pitch. Now one, a bunt one, one. attempt here. Clips it behind his back, and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. What's the play ball? Attention, please. He's hitting for Chicago.
Leading off for the White Sox. The left fielder. Cut. Popped him up. Warrior. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first Wait out. Up. Ready now for the White Sox, Victor Caratini. He was retired after popping Victor out in his last at bat. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You're trying so hard. 1 1. Up to the high velocity. If he shows. And we'll have to leave it there as the play Ladies is made here to end the inning. The so it's no runs on a hit, minutes, no right. errors, and a man left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The White Sox lead this one 3 to 1. Ladies Dalton Lyons is up off the please. bench as he'll be asked Pinching to get something to started ball. in the home half Number of the seventh. Dalton Lyons. Let's play ball. You're out. Three. Three. Out. That's ball four. He's out. Out. You're out. Out. He's out. Four, four, take your base. You're out. Three. Three. Out, out. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. The White Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Carson Fulmer gets the W on the mound. Luis Nivar was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, it's a spring training matchup between the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. Arizona Diamondbacks. Warren Miller will be the one towing the rubber for the Diamondbacks. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And over at first base in this one today is the guy that can pick it with the best of them. And I can't overstate that enough. As a former middle infielder, when you could close your eyes and throw it over to first base, I'm knowing on. it was getting... Three! Yeah. Three! Out! Three! Out! Out! 
Next to the plate for the Padres, Adam, Adam Duvall. It. He'll get to the take his first cuts here. Adam Duvall. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A lot of traffic hitting a base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball. Ready now, Kermit Yellow Horse, as he'll get his the first, first opportunity in this one. Kermit Yellow Horse. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Play ball. Three. Digging in now for San Diego. Alfonso Vasquez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him. The attack early in the setback. Pitch popped up. Yellow Horse has a play. And that's the third out. One left for San Diego. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in now, Kermit Yellow Horse. The first baseman number four, Kermit Yellow Horse. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Slap hard the opposite way. Duvall is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for Arizona. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. one nothing the final. The Padres took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Clyde Lavallo is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victory.
MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago White Sox. Hello again, everybody. Now, Welcome to our spring training coverage on MLB Network. Chicago White Sox. Lucas Giolito gets the ball for the White Sox in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Chicago White Sox. And, guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around. Up next for Chicago, that Lincoln Cheney and the, the White Sox fielder. looking for more here Lincoln. in the game's opening frame. Cheney. One, one, Toward the hole. Four, four. And that will get on through into right field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You think you make a decent pitch, ball hit to the hole right through there. You're hoping it can get knocked down. Instead, base hit, run batted in. Yeah, and as the batter right there, you're taking off your batting gloves, giving dabs to the first base. Ball. Into the box, Kermit, yellow right, horse. Right. He'll get to take the his first, first cuts here. Kermit, yellow horse. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Smoke toward oh, third. Out, Scooped up. And Moncada covering at second base on the quick throw. That retires the side. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're still down. It's 2-0. Kermit, yellow horse, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the, the ball game. Basement. Things not looking Kermit. very good so far in this yellow one, but horse. we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come go from hard, behind hard, and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. All right, let's see if that leadoff single gets them going right now. They've taken it on the chin for most of this game, being a little passive at the plate in their approach. Let's see if that starts them off and they start to go more ambush tactics. Striding in once again, Felipe Crocker, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Crocker. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Yellow Horse gets his lead at first, nobody out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Stepping in, Adolfo Castro. He went deep in his Adolfo. first at-bat. We'll Castro. see what he's got in store for us here. Throw over to the bag, and a dive, but he's back in.
The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping Up in, Sergio Diamondback. Crespo. The He's 0 baseman. for 2 thus far Sergio in this one. Sergio Crespo. Flares this one find over the ball, toward find first. The ball, find and the ball. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Arizona, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. So a pivotal moment the here and digging in four. now. Kermit, yellow Kermit. horse, but a single yellow here horse. could reduce the deficit to only one. <laughs> First pitch of the at bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and a liner. And this is going to wind up as extra right, bases. Here, here, here. He's ever played one for sure, and maybe a second. Now the relay home, and it's not in time. He's safe as two score on the play, and we are all tied up. Boy, there are base hits, but then there are big base hits, d -Row. This one's getting late. That is a huge two RBI base hit to tie things up. Yeah, Dan, in the late innings, the pressure gets higher. It's who can control their emotions, and from an offensive standpoint, that's a nice job that, of taking a deep breath team. and coming through Billy for the team. Day. Rucker. A base hit into center field. Long throw to the plate. The throw's offline. He's safe. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Check your outfielders now. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does. Especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Play ball. Trying to pick things up where we now left batting. off. Kermit, the yellow horse. Baseman. He drove in two Kermit. with a double in his last yellow at bat. Horse. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once in A-B. He takes it to the opposite field. High and deep to left. Gone! So a three-run blast to straight away left as it is now 7-3. What a piece of clutch hitting. This team is holding on to a slim lead, and he blows this thing wide open with a three-run blast. That could be the nail in the coffin.
Four, four, take the break. Three. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, 7-6 to six today. The D-backs jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Lance McCullers takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for...